So today's lesson is going to be on pacing, and what pacing means is just varying your speed to enhance your speech. So sometimes talking a bit faster, sometimes talking a bit slower, or using pauses to make it so that it's clearer what you're saying. So let's present our homework speeches first. Does anyone want to present first? I want to go first. Okay. Oh. Uh. Every child had their own dream of becoming Superman, like Superman or Spider-Man, and so do I. If I had a superpower, I um, would want to fly in the sky. First, when I watch cartoons about Superman, I see him fly everywhere to help people when they are in danger. Uh, if I could fly like him, I would also help people too. Second, when flying, I could go anywhere easier and uh, I would not have to rush to pass the bus or trains. Finally, I like traveling. Uh, therefore, when I fly in the sky, it is uh, mm, faster and more convenient to travel. I could see the view from the sky. They are uh, so beautiful and it would be an exciting experience. In conclusion, there are the reasons why I want to fly in the sky. Thanks for listening. That's awesome. As you know, today, superpower isn't a new concept. We usually watch movies or read comics about people with many kinds of special powers. Now, as superheroes, they have many kinds of power, like fly, super strength, teleportation. If you have a power, what did you choose and what would you use it for? For me, I would choose immoral, immortality. Because if I could live forever, I could use my whole life to help others during natural dis disaster. Since I would not be afraid of losing my life, I could also give all my money to those in need. Because I would never have to buy new clothes or accessories. I would or make a great history professor as I would know the whole of human history because I have lived through all history events. What about you? What power would you choose? Wow, that's really interesting. Let's move on to the lesson then on pacing. So today's lesson isn't going to be extremely long. Pacing is just about your speed. Like there's not much to teach, although I will teach you like when you should slow down and when you should speed up. But mainly the point of this is just to be aware of what you should be doing. Okay, so the question then is when should you be varying your pace? So of course with pacing, there are times when you want to slow down, there are times when you want to speed up too. So when you want to slow down, it's just when you have an important idea that you want to emphasize. So maybe it is the main point of your argument, or maybe if you're telling a story, it's like the most important part of the story for the plot, or when there's like, um, yeah, I, I don't know a specific example, but it's like when you want to emphasize something and make it seem really important, you want to slow down. Also slow down when you want to build up suspense. So this is especially important in stories. So when there's a time when like somebody is um, chasing after you or trying to solve a mystery or something, you might want to slow down to make the audience a bit more excited at what you're talking about. On the flip side, when you want to speed up is when you want to convey excitement or anger. So maybe you're trying to make a point and you're getting really angry and passionate about it. Then you might want to speed up to convey that. Or when there's something really exciting happening, like a fight scene in the story, you want to speed up too um, because it helps to quicken the pace of the plot. Also, you want to speed up at perhaps unimportant moments. So slow down when there's emphasis, the most important part of what you're saying, but you can speed up when something is comparatively less important so that you can get through it more quickly to get to the important parts. Does that make sense? And then now that you know when to vary your pace, you also need to know when to pause. So knowing when to pause is incredibly important. Um, after you say something, you want to give the audience a chance to breathe and process what you just said. So after you say an important idea, you want to pause. You also want to pause in between main ideas. So for example, if your speech has paragraphs to separate the main things that you're talking about, 
you want to pause in between those paragraphs to delineate between your ideas. And the length of a pause should be uh, like a couple of seconds. Just count to three in your head and that should be a good pause. Any questions on that? Okay, there are no questions, that's fine. Um, that is basically the lesson. Like, you just need to focus on slowing down and pausing in your speeches when you feel it is necessary. I think the most important part though is to practice. So let's move on into some exercises. So I guess now we can do the random word speech since you guys were fine with doing that. Um, so I'm gonna give each of you a random word. Uh, Remember to read your speech in an engaging and enthusiastic way. You want to use pauses and vary pacing. Um, I think I'll give you guys around 10 minutes to prepare just so you guys can really focus on getting the pacing in, like marking where to slow down. I want to go first. All right. Now I will tell you about my house I live in. The house I currently live with my family. It's the house located in the city, crowd and busy. This is not really the ideal house I dream about, but I can't deny that uh, this house is so mean to me. I have slept here for 15 years. I had a lot of memory with this house, play game abroad with my sister right in this house and decorated the wall and make the wall of this house look beautiful so i think um this house i live in this is the most beautiful house i live as. that's great you can go first okay in my opinion, everyone loves to travel. Traveling is also one of the ways to relax and have fun. People can go to their favorite places with family and friends. They can see the beautiful sights and take pictures at the souvenir and show it to their friends. However, traveling also costs a lot of money. Therefore, traveling with the poor is just a dream. Uh, cannot happen in reality. Therefore, I think the hobby of traveling is only for people with a rich economy. Okay, thanks. Interesting commentary on traveling. Try writing stories. So, talk about an exciting or fun experience you've had. Similar to the last speech, read the story in an engaging and enthusiastic way, use pauses and vary your pacing. Uh, your exciting or fun experience can just literally be anything as long as you can tell a good story about it. Me. And, okay. Okay. Life is full of many exciting experiences. Some are weak. We tend to forget, but as for others, we remember them for a long time. Today, I uh, would like to talk about one of my recent exciting experience. A good few of months ago, I went to watch a 3D animated movie in a movie theater for the first time in my life. I have had the experience of watching a 3D movie at home, but it's not on really large screen in a theater. It's one other women's experience and uh, I enjoy it. I went to watch a movie with two closer friends of mine. The name of the movie was uh, The Scary Monster and once there I decided to watch a 3D movie and I thought it would be fun to watch a 3D movie on a large screen. To share my impression with you, I will uh, intrude and quite taken aback by the surreal stage a week, a week enters when I wore the 3D glass. It was as uh, if I were present at the event and were uh, witnessing the world thing with my own eye. Just after I put on the glasses, 
uh, that's what designers for watching 3D movies. I was taken to a Magic Lab Originals work of animation. I cannot compare with my previous experience of watching a movie in the theaters. I feel as if I were cut off from reality and transported to a very good of animated character. The sound system of the theater it is another thrilling uh, dim dimension to the experience. Thus, we the movie are still in its primary stage. I would say it has opened remake roles and offer a world new dimensions to movies life. The experience I have had at the time was unique. It was so um, exciting with the experience that I went to watch another 3D movie within a week after work I have enjoyed more than five or six 3D movies so far. But the uh, excitement of experiencing it for the first time is unforgettable. Thanks for listening. Whoops, I'm muted. Okay, great speech. Very well written. Okay, go for it. Um, Vietnam is a traditional country with many traditions and customs. It had a lot of traditional food and sticky rice cooked. In Pampu is one of them. I used to cook it once with my mom. That's good fun. It is not hard to cook if you know the recipe. If you need, I can tell you how to cook this food. Uh, firstly, you have to prepare ingredients, include uh, 500 gram sticky rice, bamboo, and some sauce. Secondly, you need to soak the sticky rice in water for at least 5 hours. It's better to soak it overnight, then rinse the rice and drain it well. Next, carefully insert the rice into the bamboo and seal the open ends with banana leaf pieces and bamboo string. Then char grill the bamboo rice for 30 minutes on medium on medium heat, turning every few minutes. When the rice is fully cooked, peel and discard the burnt bamboo. Next, leave the rice until it is cool and cut it into pieces of about five centimeters. Finally, finally, you can serve on its own with salt and pepper. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. That's really So write a two minute speech on what is a challenge that you've overcome and how did you overcome it? So the challenge can be uh, like anything. I don't know. Maybe you have to walk a long way to school or maybe like you aren't good at math and like you had to practice a lot of math or you weren't good at like something else that you tried, but you persevered and you got good at it. But just like talk about a challenge that you've overcome. Um, or